All right, so this is the program, College Football Manager. Start new career. Let's start new career. All right, head coach name, because I got to put my name in, right? Okay, what's our school name? What's our school name? We're going to go with Clemson here. I need your help. This is not just going to be me. I need your help. What's the school name that we go with here? Do we just go with Clemson? Make it easy. Uh, Tigers? Tig says Tig's Academy. Yeah, we could do Tig's Academy, but, you know, that would be, you know, my daughter's uh, homeschool is... Um, Thomas Academy. All right, how about that? So we'll do Morgan Thomas, school name Clemson, mascot Tigers, abbreviation CU because, well, I guess we could do CLE. Klee, you want to do Klee or CU? I will do CU. All right. All right. Let, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at the logos. All right. I got to find a tiger here. Hold on. I got to find a... Where's a tiger? BYOG University. Could do that. Um, where's the tiger? Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yes. What do you think? Should we do white tiger? LSU looking tiger? Let's do that tiger. Color? Um, something like that. There we go. Alternate color purple. Of course. Of course. Look at that. All right. Now that, that looks pretty legit, fellas. That looks shit. Legit. I like that. All right. Here we go. Okay. School campus. Lakeside campus. Or autumn campus. Well, I think you have to go with the lakeside campus, do you not? I mean, Clemson has a lake. So I think I think that's what you do, right? All right. We're going to. All right. Fantasy moguls, game develop. Welcome to early access. Oh, I didn't know this is early access. Please be aware the game is in active development and new content and features will be added. We've also started a Facebook group. We appreciate your time. All right, so I didn't know this was uh, experimental here. To get started, tap the button below to start your next season. I'm getting nervous. Are you nervous? Let's see. All right, Theodore Barlow, president of the CFAA. Coach Thomas, the, coach, the college football season is about to begin. Let's get some details out of the way. You and your program are starting off in the All-American Conference. Okay. Conference level one, recruiting quality poor. Conference, current conference score zero out of 45. Score 45 points in the All-American Conference to earn a prestige level for your school. Conference achievements. Okay, succeed here and you may be invited to join a more prestigious conference. Which, by the way, I think that they need to, to do relegation like they do in in, in, a, in soccer. Conference achievements. 10,000 total season score. 1,650 season score. Shutouts, record three shutouts, rivalry, defeat the Lexington College Pistons. So, the Lexington College Pistons, that's our rival. All right, 1,200 recruiting points. Increase interest of your recruits in your program. 
one flight tokens. Fly your scout. <laughs> fly your scout to anywhere on the scouting map. Schools in this conference are provided the resources listed above to build their programs. Resources don't roll over the next year, so use them all during the eleven game season. You know, it's like the military: use it and lose it, or lose it. Your program has also been awarded the th tokens above for hiring new staff. One staff swap tokens. Swap team coordinators with new playbooks. Spend at the team office on your campus to hire and improve your staff. I'm, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm only gonna hire within. Invest the future seasons by saving these tokens, or spend them now to upgrade your personnel. I don't know anything about my personnel to upgrade them yet. The boosters, fans, and players are all expecting big things from the program this year. It's it's go time, coach. Let's get the season started. Let's do this. All right. It says um, Tony Haywood. Hey, coach. Before you start building your program, let's cover some basics. The season is split into weeks and days. See, this is me. This is me showing you. Yeah, Tickled says uh, Quok getting getting uh, nerd on you. Um, this is me waiting for, um, you know, NCAA twenty twenty four. Hey, if when if and when NCAA twenty twenty four comes out, I will play it at least once on the channel because I used to love that game. All right, so at the top you can see the calendar of your week. Okay, we see that. Um, each day, each day you'll have a number of tasks to manage. You can complete tasks by tapping on the highlighted locations on campus. Let's take a quick tour to get acquainted with your facilities. Over this way is your training facility. Okay, we got a training facility. That's a good. Uh, improve your players by assigning them specific training regiment, regimens. Okay. This building here is your scouting office. Okay, this is where you'll direct your scout around the country. Okay. Your scout will, will uncover recruits as he travels each day. Close by is your recruiting center. Well, you know, Clemson should have one of the best. Your scouted prospects are managed and actively recruited here. On this side of campus, you'll find your team office. As a head coach, you'll need to hire and fire staff here. You can look at who's available to sign here. Just over this way is the Hall, hall of Honor. It's a bit empty right now, but we're going to fill it over time. That's right. And finally, your school stadium. There, where every Saturday is game day. I think that, I, you know... Tasks that are urgent for today are marked in red. Use the tabs at the bottom to manage your roster and the season. When ready, you can tap this button to advance the next day. Well, all right. Now what do I do? Okay. All right. Okay. We got a few things. So where should I go? Training facility. Where should I go to the training facility? Look at that state. Look at the look at the campus, y'all. Where should I go? The training facility? Um, where should I go? Put it in the chat. Let me know. Uh... Or scouting. Okay. All right. We'll go scouting. Let's go scouting. Hey, coach. Welcome to the scouting office. Your work here will be crucial to your long-term success. Let's walk through the basics so you can get down to planning. Scouting recruits is done on the ground by your scout. Scattered around the country are promising recruits. You'll need to plan and direct your scout's travel path. 
Your scout is represented on the map by this icon. Oh, look at that car. That's pretty cool. The map is made up of points of interest linked by routes. Your scout can move to any point linked to one they occupy. When you move your scout to a new point, you'll use one scout to move. Each day, you'll gain one scout move. Points where recruits can be scouted are shown with pins. Moving your scout to one of these points will scout the recruit. Positions you'll need to fill next season are marked with a exclamation mark. There are also rewards on the map you can acquire. These can be crucial to closing out a great recruiting class. Also available to your scout are flights. You can spend a flight token to travel to any point on the map. Make sure to use your flight wisely to get out, or to get out of tough spots. So uh, it's kind of like a board, I guess. You know, Once you hire your scouts, you may notice points linked like this. These scouts are map scout shortcuts unique to that scout that you've hired. Your scout can travel across these shortcuts like normal points. Keep your eye out for new scouts with their unique talents. Finally, there are a few tools to help navigate. Scout on center and zoom in and zoom out. That about covers it. Good luck. Looking forward to this year. Oh my goodness. Our scout, what is our scout? First of all, what is our scout doing all the way up in Maryland? Okay. So from what it looks like to me, Clemson, we need, let's go to team needs here. A wide receiver, two tight ends, a tackle, a defensive tackle, a linebacker, and a cornerback. So the only lines I can go to today are either nothing or a center. I think you got to go to the center, don't you? You have to move there to scout the center. I think that's where you got to go. That's where we're going to go. We're going to go to Frederick, Maryland, and we're going to tap this. And a one-star recruit, Barry, how do you say that? Barry Arden? One-star recruit. He's interested. He's 5% interested. See, I'm already liking this. I'm already liking this. Should I recruit the player or decline? Let me know in the chat. Chat, you are the decision maker. Should I recruit the player? Should I recruit Barry or decline? You get plus, you get plus five on this if you pass. Now it did say we didn't need a center. Tiggs says pass. Is Tiggs the only one left with me? Tiggs might be the only, that might be the only one not checked out here. Um. Okay, whoa, I scrolled down, and we already have Clinton Tisdale. He's a junior. And then we have Kevin Bayer, who's a sophomore. So we have two guys that, are, that still have eligibility left. We're going to decline. All right, now this scout doesn't have any more moves, so we got to back out. And the next thing we're going to do is go to the training facility. All right, we got to learn about this. What should the training coordinator, Rob Beckhart, what should me and the boys work on this week? Okay. Muscle Beach, Helping Hands, Receiving Core, or Walk the Line? Walk the Line is for run blocking. Receiving Core, Core Skills for your Receivers. Helping Hands, Being Able to Handle catching the ball with wide receivers and tight ends and muscle beach is it's time to shrink your testicles and get pumped wow grab two of your besties a unitard and some syringes i feel like that's illegal <laughs> so should i do which one should i do I feel like I can't do Muscle Beach on principle alone. I don't want to have a roided up 
college football team. So what should I do? Helping hands. I was thinking helping hands myself. All right, so we'll go with helping hands. And we got a couple of guys, tight ends, wide receivers. And um, oh, our best wide receiver, Tom Cutler, senior. We'll start the training there. All right, so what else is there to do? Nothing really. We're, we're good. We're good, right? So we got all these recruiting points, but I don't really know what to do with them. Season score, standings, roster. There's my roster. Bernard Gunn is our quarterback. Isaac Bush. Tom Cutler is our best. Looks like Tom Cutler, wide receiver, is our best player. Looks like. Oh, we've got Michael Klein, senior inside linebacker. All right, do we have any good kickers? No. Oh, we got a good punter. Decent punter. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm thinking we advance to the next day. What do you think? I mean, we got everything here. I'll finish this at 9, by the way. But or maybe we should play at least one game. All right. Tuesday, day 2. Day 2, what do we got to do? Let's go Opponent scouting? Let's do opponent scouting because we haven't done that yet. John McGavin, lead research analyst. Do you want to dig into Fort Knox University's offensive or defensive tactics? Yeah, I better have 85 players. That's for sure, right? Okay, so in your opinion, what should I do? Scout the offense, the opposing offense, or scout the opposing defense? What should I do? Now, remember, it looked like we had better players on offense than we did defense. So what do you think? I'm thinking we scout their defense. What do you think? It provides a game day boost to the opposite. So if we scout the defense, our offense is even better. Or if we scout the offense, our defense is better. What do you think we should do? Scout the defense. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'll, I'll say it. All right, we're going to scout the defense. We get a bonus to run blocking for the tackle and speed. What are these plus signs here? I'm, oh. Oh, I already picked it. I didn't realize. Okay, I should have. Can I unpick it? Oh, no. I clicked it. I, sh I clicked too soon. All right, so. I went with run blocking and speed. Oh well. I should I really would have wanted to do pass blocking, but playbook on defense. So their their best player is Richard Newsom. They got a defensive end, a uh a line a middle a number one linebacker and a two deep they they got two great defensive ends. And they do a three three five. Oh, that's pretty cool. Shows you what defensive plays they do. Rotate coverage to wide receiver two. D-line stint. Cloud cover three. Cloud cover two robber. Cover two robber. Okay. All right. That's our scouting. Hopefully. All right. Now let's, let's get our recruiting trail going here. Now we know we need a linebacker. So I'm thinking we go up there to the linebacker. Not only that, it leads us towards that uh, that treasure chest. So that's what I'm thinking. I, let's go up to that linebacker. Welcome to Pennsylvania. I like that. It was a cool little pop-up. Tap to scout. Two-star. Two-star recruit. In Philadelphia. Okay, we have a senior, a senior, a junior, a junior, 
a freshman. So what is a two-star recruit? It doesn't really tell you what their rating will be, but what do you think? Okay, here's a two-star linebacker, Joel Bermudez. Bermudes, what do you think? Should we should we recruit him? He's he's three percent interested currently. Should we re should we scout him? Should we recruit him? We need a linebacker. I mean, we we drove all the way up there. I'm thinking, let's recruit him. Tell me I'm wrong. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Okay, I'm gonna recruit him. Ooh, he's 21 overall. Okay, once you recruit him, then you get to see his his rating. Six foot six, two thirty eight. How is he a two star? How is this guy a two star? Six foot six, two thirty eight. Three percent chance. Uh, recruit commits. A ninety seven percent chance that he. Loses interest if we request him to commit. We're not going to do that. Okay, here's where we get some points in. It's a position of need. We have 1,205 points. What do we do? Do we do a personal visit? Do we call him? Do we email him? Do we text him? Nobody emails anybody anymore. This game is called the program. I, I saw it on an ad on social media, and I was like, I got a, I got a down. First of all, so here's here's the thing. I saw this on an ad on social media, and I said, you know, I said we I got to play this with my with my live stream. Okay, so it's called the program. College football is still in development, but I'm loving it so far. I'm loving it. Tell me, tell me this isn't fun so far. Okay. Text, I, I'm saying we don't text him. I'm saying we go all in on this. We need a. We need to give him a personal visit. This will be 37% interest boost. You, you would call him. I think we go visit the guy. Six foot six, 238 pounds. He's already got the measurables, guys. He's already got the measurables. Why wouldn't we go ahead and visit him? I say go ahead and visit the guy. You're not going to change my mind. I'm doing it. I'm clicking on it. 150. All right. Your weekly recruiting action has been taken for this recruit. We just popped him up to 40% interest now. Six foot six, 238. All right. Our scout doesn't have any more moves left. We don't have any more things read, so you know what we got to do. We got to advance the next day. Here we go, day two, or day three now. All right, we just finished up the most recent training regiment, Coach Francisco Brown plus two. Uh, route running, or is that route running? Um. Tom Culver didn't – Tom Cutler didn't get any any bonus from that. All right, let's go back to scouting because I'm loving this scouting. Oh, man, this is really – this is – okay. I think we have to – we got to go. Okay, here's my question to you. Looking at the looking at looking at the, the route here, do I go do I go further into Pennsylvania? There's a look at that guy. There's a there's a guard over there. There's a guard over there in New York. Okay, red is the hot zone. No, it, it's just it's just broken up by um, by regions: red, blue, yellow, orange. It, and, it, and remember, it didn't ask me where my school was. So, I don't think it knows. So, I, I, the colors are not by hot zone. I don't think that's true. So, do I continue into Pennsylvania and, and possibly open myself up for the linebacker, 
should I should I plan the route to go up to the treasure chest or plan the route to go to the cornerback and the linebacker or do I plan the route to go back down towards the south and recruit in the south and and go down that line down Virginia um Like if I go down that line down Virginia to to North Carolina and, and then and then down to Greenville, there's a tackle in Greenville or Clemson. You know, we got to honestly. What do you think we should do? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stay up in the north because okay, we're in Harrisburg now. I'm gonna stay up in the north because I, I, the way I've mapped it out, I can get, I can get two treasure chests and and a couple of other big time recruits. A couple of other. Okay, let's go to the training facility here. Okay, this time, this week, today, what do we want to work on? Senior staycation. Each se uh, they get to stay in an old. They stay, they say an old dog can't learn new tricks, and that's these guys halfway out the door. The staycation is a chance for each senior to reach for the stars with a massive rating boost. Rocket Man, your quarterback could use a little help on their cannons. Helping hands again or make it or break it, your players will earn a huge overall gain with this training. So you got three groups. And so so do I help the seniors out? Do I improve the quarterback's cannon of arm? Do I do more catching drills? Or do I improve two players overall? What do you think I should do here? What do I do? If you were the recruit, what would you do? Or if you were the recruiting coordinator, or excuse me, the training coordinator, what would you do? Help the quarterback? Okay, all right, we'll go with that. Bernard Gunn. I need Bernard to get our starting QB, Bernard, to get in there. All right, now we get it. We get something new. Press conference. Summer Sheldon. The defense has been good pressuring opposing quarterbacks. We know that because they got the 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 other team has has two really good defensive ends. What do you guys do to get the best out of your your defensive line? Or maybe she was talking about us. Okay. There's nothing more exciting than seeing these big boys get after the quarterback. That's my favorite part of this wonderful game. We mix it up, well, we scheme, we run stunts, we come up with interesting ways to hide which players can are going to be hunting. We make sure these guys get quality reps in practice and that they study film properly. Which one would you say? I'll go with the first one. There's nothing more exciting than to see these big boys get after it. Passionate, passionate trait. Uh, tight end Wayne Gilbert forwarded this plus eight awareness. Wide receiver Robert Baker started dancing. Kevin Bayer, center, high fived me, and tight end Stephen Battle loved this. Awesome, awesome. I got a bunch of improvements there. All right, what is this? I, I've been noticing this red crown thing. No season pass, buy in the campus store. Well, I'm not buying anything. You're not going to sucker me into that. All right, here we go. Day number four. Hey, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and like. And and uh, let's see what we got. All right, let's go back to scouting. You know my favorite thing here. I'm going to go up to the treasure chest because I want to see what that is opening reward by the way the stream has been going on very nicely 
25 plus 25 scouting. Double your reward. We'll watch an ad. We'll watch an ad. We'll double my reward. Hey, who knows? Maybe the makers of this game will give me a free pass or something. I don't know. You know, you got to watch an ad. It is what it is. I'm not going to pay for it right now. All right. That's 50 recruiting points. Scouting reward. That's a big deal, fellas. That's a big deal. We're going to go back to Harrisburg and then back around. That's what we're going to do. All right. Game, uh, game day planning. All right, you're, I'm confident this is defensive coordinator. Bum Wilson, defensive. How would you love that? Uh, Bum Wilson. Coach, I'm confident in the playbook we, you, we've we got, but I want to make sure we're all in agreement. Can we do want to do a quick review? Yes. All right. Oh, we get four plays. Okay, we got to pick from four plays. Our plays are a 3-3-5 three, three, zone blitz right. Aggressiveness, three knives. Cover four, aggressiveness, one knife. Uh, that... That was a nickel defense. And then an SS robber 335 defense. Honestly, I'm Brent Venables. I'm aggressive. I'm going with the zone blitz of the 335. We gotta be aggressive here. It's not it's it's not time to not be aggressive. All right. So we did a 335. This is this is um gap stack 4-4 defense. I like the gap stack. Standard goal line. You could Probably get away with a 4-4 instead of a standard goal line. The base nickel with, gosh, seven players drop back. I don't like that. Um, I'm going to do that. All right, all right. We, we probably do need something passing related. 46 right side overload blitz. Uh, CB2 blitz, rotate coverage. I do like that. I do like that one. QB spy. Now, the 335 QB spy, I love. Actually, I'm going to play that one. And then, okay, the base 3-4. It's always good to have a base 3-4 zone. Inside linebacker blitz. I like that. Or CB1 blitz, 3-4 defense. I'll go with that one. All right. That's our that's our playbook. We got a zone blitz right, gap stack, QB spy, and CB1 blitz. All right. Did we miss our recruiting? Oh, you only get you only get to recruit him once a week. Okay, you only get to recruit a guy once a week. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's look at the campus store. What is the season pass? Season one. Three ninety nine. Three dollars. Is it worth it? Let's advance to the next day. All right, day five. It's a Friday. Hey, it's Friday. It's time to go to the hotel. It's time to go to the hotel and get ready for the next game. All right, let me know what you got in store for them next. Rocket Man. Bernard got plus four arm. Maestro for, for plus four. And Raymond plus two. All right, let's go scouting here. And again, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back down. I'm going to move him back down to Harrisburg, like I said. See, now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. I'm going to go back to the training facility here. Now, all right, this is where I need your help. Let me know which players you want me to work with today. 
zero, are they? The offense takes over the training facility for two days of overall offensive training. So improve the entire offense, improve the tight ends, uh, improve all of your juniors, or improve all of your defenders on pass rushing. So pass rushing, improve pass rushing, improve juniors, improve tight ends, or improve all of the offense. What training should I do on Friday? Get in the chat. Let me know what you think. Pass rushing, I was thinking the same. All right, that's what we'll do. We'll do pass rushing here. And now, now I guess we get to pick Alan Blaster. Hey, Coach. You, can you finalize the playbook for this week's game? Pick your preferred plays, and I'll get the guys coached up. All right. Let's see. Quick outs. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bitter on that. Six yards. Short six-yard pass. Wide receiver three. Quick screen. Can do we? I feel like we. I feel like we have to pick the wide receiver screen, don't we? Don't we have to pick? I mean, aren't we obligated? Come on. Come on, aren't we obligated to pick the wide receiver screen? I think we're obligated. I think I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Wide receiver screen it is. All right, all right. Option routes. Hey, hello, Kyle Richardson. Okay, a G-block counter right. You know... You know the G-block counter right is going to be one of those plays that Garrett Riley loves. He loves the counter. Deep pass left. Well, that's not a short pass. So we got to have a, we got to have a run play. All right. Long. It's a long pass. Okay, razor route, shotgun, empty set. I do really like that route. Deep pass right with some options at the top of the tree with some options after 15. Or deep crossing routes. Okay, we got to do deep crossing routes. Shotgun. All right, X Shadow, another crossing. Is X Shadow a play action? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, the wide receiver one bubble. I don't want to do that. Cross lateral option. I actually like this play. There's more variety in this play because you have that guy that's going 10 and stop. So I'm going to do that. And then another bubble screen. I'm not interested. A running back draw. Not really interested. Rub routes, they always, that would, that would work great. All right, we'll confirm that. We got our playbook in, fellas. Our playbook is in. I'm ready to get to the game. Tomorrow is game day. You've been waiting this long. It's time. All right, let's advance to the next day. We're moving on to Friday. It's game day. Our scout is still out. He's going to go check out this cornerback over in Pittsburgh or in Pennsylvania. Let's see what we got. A two-star cornerback. Ooh, Otis Ortiz. I mean, it says we need him, so and he's got 11%. So I say we recruit him, 21.2. So two-star, 21.2. Okay, 5'10", 169. 5'10's not bad, don't you think? 5'10's not bad. Oakland High School, New Cumberland, West Virginia. I thought I was in Pennsylvania. Um, again, I think we go do a visit. Let's go do a visit. You know, let's pump him up. 50% chance here. It's early on in the season, but you only have 11 weeks now. All right, what's next? Is it really game day? Ooh, it's, like it's game day. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm excited. Here we go. All right. 
the Clemson Tigers versus Fort Knox University Golden Aces. We're 22.8 on offense and 21.2 on defense. They are 22 on offense, 22.4 on defense. I'm, st I'm stressed. Here we go. Here we go. We're ninth. Uh, Mike, this is called the program on uh, the on the app store. Um, the program college football. I think you just look up the program. It. I wanted to try it out. I wanted to try it out to for the live stream with you guys to see what what you thought. And so far, I like it. I mean, it feels like a college football game should. Okay, so first game of the season, first step towards 11-0. Let's go! Pat Collinsworth. Let's take a quick look at today's matchups. First game in series history, Golden Aces starting nine seniors. Tigers starting 12 seniors. Scouting bonuses. We're good at run blocking and speed for our tackles. Their tackles are good at pass blocking and run blocking. Ooh. Up to game time. Money, money, money. Uh, okay, Clemson's top players. Tom Cutler, wide receiver. Michael Klein, linebacker. We saw him. And then Bernard Gunn, yeah. All right. And then Fort Knox University's. Ooh, they got a, they got, man, they got a stud. Deep. Okay, there's center. I'm not so worried about his. Sean Cleghorn, man, yeah, he's good. Richard Newsom, defensive end, and then William Homan, running back. Okay, they got a center and a defense, uh, a running back there, so I think they're probably going to run on us. I know, I know my playbook. I really don't need to see the playbook again. All right, here we go. Wow, this is going fast. Wait a minute. I mean, is this simming? Seven to three. I didn't. I thought I'd be picking plays. So that is a little bit of a disappointment. Oh. Come on. Run for eight yards. Run for six yards. Run for eight yards. Okay. End of the quarter. Second quarter. Sacked him. They missed a field goal. Touchdown, baby. Tigers up 14 to 3. Let's go. Got the ball back again. Oh, man, they can sack. Sacked us again. Had to punt that time. All right, we stopped them. Our defense is doing good. Oh, man, they sack us, man. We got a field goal this time 17 to 3. 21-yard pass, a 14-yard run. Oh, man, but we stopped him on a field goal. It's the third quarter now. <sighs> third quarter. Another field goal. We held him to another field goal. Come on. Big time, two big time passes. Interception. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're running on us. Man, I'm telling you what. We get in the red zone. We stopping them. Are we, we held them for another field goal. Come on, offense. Big time 31-yard pass. Look at that. Touchdown, baby. We held them to a punt. Incomplete pass. Missed a field goal again. How many field goals are going to miss today? Eight minutes to go. And a field goal. 44-yard field goal. Well, actually, probably more than that. 54-yard field goal? Uh, 
another field goal. It should tell you the field goal yards. Our field goal kicker is really, really stepping up now. I mean, our field goal kicker, you know, I, I, I was kind of bad-mouthing him at first, but, oh, they finally scored on us. They failed at the two-point conversion. Game over, ladies and gentlemen. Game over. Almost 399 yards passing. Now, our rushing game, honestly, could, could improve. But, you know, I only had one rushing play to go off of, the counter. Eight total drives. Beat them in first downs. They beat us in third down conversions. But did they really? They had four. We had a better percentage than they did. They got five sacks, which we knew going into the game that the sacks would we the, would be a risk for our team because they had two great defensive uh, ends. Now, tackles for loss, time of possession. Honestly, you know, Fort Knox, Fort Knox, you know, we showed up tonight. Fort Knox is, is a great opponent, but, you know, our preparation. Hats off. Hey, hats off to Fort Knox, uh, Coach um, Coach Smith over there, hats off to them. You know, they they, they played us tough. Uh, they beat us in multiple categories in team snat, uh, stats. Ultimately, it came down to some a couple of plays here and there, some big plays. And a uh, big shout-out to our kicker, our kicker who um, Robert Myrick, you know, came through clutch. Today, with a 61-yard field goal, with two back-to-back, -back, a 57-yard field goal, and then a 61-yard field goal. You know, it just, just I couldn't be more proud of our guys. First game of the season. You know, it is, I think it's going to be a special season. Um, I look forward. We, there's some things we got to improve. Obviously, um, a couple of drives here stalled, and um, we could we could improve rushing, but you know, do, be good at what you're good at, right? Passing and and kicking bombs. We got it. We have a bionic leg kicker. So thirty one eighteen. Congratulations, everyone. One and zero on the season. I think we got to go to Saturday now. Or excuse me, you go to Sunday. Let's finish out Sunday. We'll go up here to the linebacker. Did I need two linebackers? I only needed one. So. Um, but I'll go up. We'll go up to him. We'll see if he's. Oh, he's just a one star, so we'll skip on him. Joe Hook, we're going to skip on you. And then what's next? Game review. Hey, Coach, it's the end of the week again. We're taking a look at how we performed at Saturday's game. After taking a look at many in, at my analysis, you can choose a player and have them practice a specific play to increase their execution proficiency. Ooh, all right. These, these are plays we ran this week. Dive into a specific play and select a player to learn that play. Um, hmm. Look at that. UP, uh, that quarterback spy. Note, defensive plays are called in response to offensive plays by your opponent. The call is based on which defensive play. As a result, some defensive plays will not get used if they're not suited for your play, opponent's playbook. Um, I mean, I want to do better. I like that rushing play. I'm going to try to do better with that. Okay, we improved, obviously, the running back. That's good. 
So select a player. Okay. Well, I want to select um, the running back, of course. All right. So that was week one. Yeah, where is the transfer portal? That's that's for sure. Where is the transfer? We don't need the transfer portal. Who needs the transfer portal? We want to know. All right, let's advance the week here. See what we get. Week two, Monday. Um, nothing's really changed. All right. John Jonah Matthews, sophomore wide receiver Francisco Brown led the way for the Tigers in the win. Brown had 137 receiving yards on 10 receptions. The Bloomfield, Indiana product entered Clemson as a one-star recruit and is currently rated 22. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Here we go with the injuries. I knew this was going to happen. Julius Brown, team physician. Several players are recovering from injuries sustained in last game. We're evaluating their status for this week. All right, our number one quarterback has a hamstring problem. Not good, because you know hamstrings can linger. John Mastro has a hand problem. You know, that, that could be serious. We could lose him. Robert Baker, our wide receiver one, has a finger problem. And Ernest Harris has a shoulder problem. I mean, cornerback. When does a cornerback not have a shoulder problem? Really? I mean, Ernest, come on. Put a brace on. Let's go. All right. Game two, we got to play the Lincoln State Lions. And you notice our stats got worse, I guess, because of those injuries. So the Lincoln State Lions versus the Clemson Tigers. All right, well that's where I'll that's where I'll end it. I had a good time. I hope you did. Hope you enjoyed that, you know, game there. Um, I appreciate everyone being a part of the show uh, tonight and and doing something different. You know, with college football kind of still waiting. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed that. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to send this to the developers and show them that I'm playing it. But um, but yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments if you missed anything. Uh, and again, as always, Tiger fans, we'll see you at the top. Well, first of all, let me let me get rid of that. But we'll see you at the top of the hill.